Hi, I'm Rob McBride, Director of Marketing here at Versa Networks. And in conclusion to a three-part series, I'm going to tell you why Versa SD-WAN. First thing we want to do, of course, is actually take a look at what's actually in the branch before you even deploy SD-WAN or why, while you're deploying SD-WAN. So we've categorized them into two things. We have networking and security. So you've got a variety of different connectivity appliances, router, SD-WAN appliance, you have a firewall, anti-AV, malware, IDS, IPS, SWGs, or secure web gate. Net-net, you got a lot of stuff that's actually in the branch today. But most of them, they're categorized into two things, networking and security. So why Versa SD-WAN, or why Versa? Well, because we take networking and security and we bring them into a singular, unified software services platform called FlexVNF. FlexVNF is a multi-tenanted, cloud-native, networking and security software services platform. And so what it does is it consolidates all of this and puts into a single software package that we call FlexVNF. All of this within a software-defined WAM, which hopefully all of you know why you want to deploy SD-WAN, but of course to save money, help you uh, improve your time of operations, time to service, um, time to stand up new sites, change policies, et cetera. But for Versa, all of this is managed in something inside of a head end and with an application or management, management platform called Versa Director and Analytics, which I'll just simplify with a VD as well as a VA. This provides your window into the software defined world or into our secure SD-WAN world where you get monitoring, policy, provisioning, um, event correlation for both networking as well as security as a result of having networking and security combined into a single software services platform. As so you look at this diagram, you have FlexVNF being deployed across your whole entire enterprise WAN estate. And of course, in the middle, we have our common encrypted network. Now, the other reason why Versa is when you look at your common encrypted network, you obviously have two different types of transports as we simplify MPLS and internet. But you may have actually some sites as you begin to transition from your legacy infrastructure into a new software defined infrastructure that are only MPLS aware or only MPLS connected. Net net, they aren't SD-WAN. So how do you get non SD-WAN sites to actually talk to SD-WAN sites? In most typical scenarios, you have a gateway function. And that gateway provides that kind of portal, that doorway, that ramp from the old world into the new world. In Versa, because of our deep networking as well as security um, capabilities, every single Flex VNF is a gateway. Okay, so I'll just draw it in two. And what that means is that each node is capable of interacting with non-SD-WAN sites. And the reason why we've kind of enabled this capability across the board for all of our software is because we also recognize that one, you're not going to flip a switch and all of a sudden your entire enterprise WAN estate will be software defined in a single day, but also your operators and your network engineers won't be able to flip that same switch and become magically aware and understanding how to actually deploy SD-WAN and actually manage it. They have a lot of previous uh, knowledge and skills and expertise as it relates to just traditional routing, things we've been doing for 20 plus years. And so the gateway functionality utilizes an approach that they're very, very familiar with, allowing them to be familiar with things such as BGP policies, as well as route filtering, in order for them to be able to look at their non-SD-WAN sites and how do they actually provide connectivity from them to SD-WAN sites. So in summary, why, S why versa SD-WAN? Well, one, we consolidate all this mess in your branch into a single software services platform by putting networking and security together. And we also understand and recognize that your, your transformation requires a transition and it's not gonna happen overnight. So not only does that pertain to how you handle um, your gateway connectivity between old to new, but it also pertains to the people that actually have to manage this on a day-to-day -day basis and providing them something very, very familiar, something they've been dealing with for years to ensure that transition is very smooth and simple for them.